making the not so obvious obvious. This video is part of Shut Up and Shoot, that famous ebook, you know, the one you should be getting now. All right, so here we are again, and this is kind of like part two of uh, rendering or trying to batch render files in Premiere Pro. Remember, Premiere is not really designed for this kind of stuff. It's more designed to really make full edits, motion pictures, things of that sort. So I don't think they thought about, gee, somebody might want to come in here and slice and dice a bunch of clips. But we do and we have figured out some ways to do this so the second method instead of doing this whole sub clip thing where we right click and make sub clip and then it generates these and then we take these guys and we do control M or do file export to media um, let's figure out a quicker way maybe I don't know you guys decide in the end I'm just gonna grab my footage here and I'm just gonna drag it and drop it right into the timeline and that's kind of cool. Now it shows up here in the actual program window. But the problem here is, is it's a whole bunch of clips. So here's space, and here is a barn, and here's another barn, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I am going to expand this work area. And by the way, this work area, usually, typically, it comes up like this when you do this. I was messing around with it before just so that I could remember how to do this because I'm not uh, I don't use Premiere Pro that much for batch processing stock footage because other applications seem to work better I like After Effects and I like Sony Vegas Pro but that's not to say that Premiere Pro is bad and Adobe don't feel bad it's okay I'm not saying that you're a bad product it's just for this particular process you're not gleaming okay so in any case, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here just so we can see what's going on. So here is the beginning of our clips. And if we scrub through them, you'll see that there's clip number four, three, two, one, five, and then of course our space, the final frontier. And that's all cool and dandy, but I don't want to render this whole slew of clips. I just want little chunks of it. So the easiest way to do this on the timeline is with this thing called the work area right here, this guy. And you'll notice right here in the middle, it's got some little vertical bars. It's kind of like the grabber. You can't do that over here. But it tells you the full length just by buzzing over it. And here's the end marker. And here is the beginning marker. So if I scrub over to here and I say, hey, look, uh, let's find that first piece of footage, the starting point. So we can, again, scrub right here. And I go, oh, wow, that looks really good. Okay. Now, I could mark this here, but it won't do me any good because I'm not even going to use this stuff here. I am going to basically grab the work area bar, this guy right here, and just put him right there. And you notice it snapped right on there. Beautiful. And now I'm going to scrub forward and go see where else I want to end. And maybe I want to go right to there. And now I'm going to grab the end marker of the work area bar. And look at that. It snapped right on there. So here we have our first piece of footage, which is 10 seconds and 15 frames. Nice. So now that I have this work area defined, all I have to do is click or type control M and voila it takes it right into our export settings where we select the codec that we want to shoot this out to and here of course again the same thing just like in the prior video you can go and set up custom pick pre-existing ones etc 
and I'm just going to go with H.264 because I think it sounds cool. So there we have it. And now we just the same way we throw it into the queue. And again, media encoder comes up and now we have barn. Okay, now be careful file names. If you remember in the prior video, if you don't check these file names, you could burn yourself. So make sure that you're not clobbering any other files with the same name. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to go back to Premiere and I'm going to show you how to grab another one. So I can just grab this bar and move it out of the way and maybe change the out point a little bit or the in point a little bit. And then we go to the out point and the out point. Oh, that looks good. Except I don't want it to overlap onto the new clip because that would give kind of a harsh reset there. You know, if we do this transition right there, we don't want to include that. That's not a good thing. But then again, some people do, and they will create a piece of footage where they will give two clips or two points of view in one piece of stock footage, and that can be done too. That's not a problem. So again, now I've selected a range, and it's 15 seconds and 9 frames, and it looks good to me, and I've got two clips in one, basically, and I do Control-M, and we're right there in the queue. Clap, boom. And now, uh-oh name gotta change that name so now we're gonna go call it barn double how's that for two clips in one just so that you make sure that these names and this is really important if you don't pay attention here you're gonna clobber footage that you rendered so you're gonna re-render the same stuff on top of each other not a good thing so make sure you understand what's going on here pay attention all right, let's go grab one more just for giggles and grins, except this one I want to be outer space, the final frontier. So here we go, and I want to make this a little bit shorter, I don't know, right there. Yep, that's where the rocket left. See, here it comes, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there's the nose. Hey, that's a good place to start. That'll, you know, the clip will start right there, and people will go, what is that? Yeah, okay, so again, very short clip 314 and control M and there we go and we can scrub through that and there we go nice throw it in the queue now this is a little bit crazy because it picked up the name barn it didn't even look to see that that was space and that is because our name of our master project is barn of, or our master segment the very first segment that's just the thing that happens it's saying that hey this project within a project here we called it barn so it defaults to barn and unfortunately there's just no way to change that so I need to change that to space age and the reason I did space age is because up here I have space one and space two and I just wanted to show make sure you double check this I can't emphasize this enough this will give you the biggest headache if you don't pay attention here but once you got that cue set up man you are ready to rock and roll and all you need to do is click on this little forward button I guess uh, yeah fast forward no that's just a forward just play how about play and that will start the queue and will start rendering one by one to all of the directories that you said and voila you are good to go and at that point get up walk away go have coffee go watch out go outside and watch the clouds or go film the clouds and get some stock footage or if you really like boring things go outside and watch the grass grow because that'll be more exciting than watching this thing render so have a good time, good luck, and good shooting.